Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to show you some ways you can use a few tools in Windows 7 to gather some advanced system information. Uh, this is the type of information that could be of great assistance in troubleshooting a problem or just trying to identify areas where something might be going wrong in the future so you can nip it in the bud. Uh, first thing I want to bring up here on my Windows 7 desktop is the Windows control panel and I'm going to jump to the system and security section and then look at these under system and security look at system and now you most of you have seen the, the these WinSat scores which as you can see in my virtual machine uh, the video doesn't give me a great score but that's a good place to get started uh, one thing you can do with this is if you look at this experience index you have an option here to view and print and so there's a little bit of information here, primarily about hard drive storage, graphics, and network that you could print and save to a to a file. Uh, if you have a PDF printer, that's a great way to create some electronic uh, digital documentation. But I want to go come over here to Advanced Tools, and the first thing I want to show you is this Generate a System Health Report. This brings up a new tool in Windows 7 that will gather information, this will take about a minute or so, uh, that will gather information with performance counters and generate kind of a, a snapshot picture, if you will, of what your computer looks like uh, performance-wise and also uh, some good configuration information. So I'm going to let that run. I'm just going to minimize that and come back here and let's look at another tool. I want to open up here to view advanced system details in system information. This is a terrific tool that you can use, and in fact I encourage people to use, to build some baseline information. Uh, the first part here you get is a nice summary <clears throat> of the local computer and its configuration. And you can see on the other pane here I have a tree view, kind of a navigation to look at other things regarding other components regarding my computer here. So I can look at adapter information and it will review this. Now a lot of this information comes from WMI which means we could also get a lot of this with PowerShell and the get WMI object commandlet and also let's jump down here and look at some software environment for example here's a great way to look to discover all about the system drivers on this machine. You can come here you can save this information uh, this gets saved in a special .nfo file so you can create NFO files for your machines and then bring them up and open them when you want when you want to look to see what has changed uh, there is also an option here to export if you want to save all the information to a text file although personally I prefer the NFO option what I like about this tool is that you can also connect to a remote computer I'm going to connect to the domain controller in my test network core DC01 now there's no provision for alternate credentials so you need to make sure you're logged on appropriately and I get the same information I can look at the software environment look at the system drivers on that machine uh, you can click on the column headings and again you've got the same exporting and sort uh, I'm sorry exporting and printing and saving information that you had uh, before now I'm going to go back to my performance and this should be finished here so what you end up with is this system.diagnostics.report that you can save uh, or you can email it to to someone. You have here some nice warnings about what is going on. But I'm going to jump down here to things like software configuration. I'm sorry, hardware configuration. I can look at disk checks and I can look and expand the smart disk status. I can look at uh, logical disks. I'm going to come down here to BIOS so I can see what the BIOS is. Now, as you can see, a lot of this comes from WMI, and I can just keep whittling down and get some terrific detailed information. This is all fantastic information that will help you see what is going on on a computer. Um, unfortunately, this does not work uh, remotely. You'd have to do this in, a, in an interactive window session. To do a lot more with uh, remote diagnostics or system information, I would resort to resort to, uh, to Windows PowerShell or use MS Info 32, which is that system information I just showed you. You can come here and do MS 
info32 slash computer and here I'll bring back core DC01 and now I'm connected to that computer. So you could run that actually from a command line and there's some options to save the information to a uh, to file as well. So it's a quick peek at using some advanced tools in Windows 7 to gather some very detailed system information. I hope you found it useful.